morning everybody today we are going to be replacing the front brakes um, the brake pads on this 2007 Dodge Magnum um, I have already gathered up all the tools and so I'm gonna show you guys what I use what you can use so on um, so anyways what I actually use is this it's made by OEM it's disc brake caliper tool set super easy it makes it super nice but a couple of C clamps will do the same thing um, Every caliper is a little different, but as long as you can get it to rest on there right and get it to sunk in that, uh, sink in that uh, piston on that caliper, you're fine. So what you'll need to do this is either the C-clamps or a kit like this, a uh, flathead screwdriver, a uh, ratchet wrench or a ratchet and a socket. Um, it's a 13 millimeter. Um, that's the only bolt other than the wheels that you have to take off. I've got my new brake pads here and some brake grease, and so I'm going to go ahead and start tearing this apart. Let me get you set up here on the old tripod. Okay. So you're going to have two 13s back here. Here's one, and then here's the other. And uh, never break the line unless you absolutely have to. So we're going to pop these out real quick. Take these out and set them to the side. You want to get your flathead screwdriver and come right in here. Be careful of these little clips that hold the brake pads in. You don't want to grab that on accident. Just make sure you get the caliper itself. And I usually go to the top and the bottom. And these brakes are pretty shot, so it's coming off pretty easy. Uh, you might have a little bit more trouble than that. but So it's pretty simple. You just kind of set this up here. I'm going to go ahead and pull these old pads out, which this side isn't horrible. The other side was actually uh, on the squealer, so this side was a little bit better shape. But so anyways, here, grabbed a couple pieces that I need out of the disc brake toolkit there, and it's pretty simple. Um, And you also need to pull the uh, the brake fluid cap off underneath the hood um, because when you squeeze this in, it creates pressure and it allows it just to fill the reservoir back up. Um, I, I try not to break any lines unless I absolutely have to because bleeding brakes suck, even if you have a buddy or something. But trying to do it by yourself, unless you have one of them kits, you know it ain't it ain't no fun. So all I'm doing now is just sinking this piston back down into the caliper. Like I said, you can use C-clamp or whatever, um, just because we're putting in new pads and they're thicker, so obviously you got to make more room for them. And so I just take this down until it stops. It's a... Uh, I don't want to shove it too far in there, but I already did the other side, so I kind of know already, and uh, the pads and everything fit, so it, was not, it wasn't an issue. So I got that all sunk in, and so I'll just go ahead and let this rest right there. Take your pads, a little bit of this, and a little bit of this goes a long way. You just uh, squeeze on the back side. Don't get it on the, the contact side. This is just to help with squeaks and squeals. And So I just put a little dab on there, and then I just spread it all over that little non-friction plate, whatever they call that thing. Same thing for the back side. And use this stuff, guys. It's like two bucks, and you don't want brand new brakes that are squealing. That's no fun. All right, I'm going to take our caliper that we've already sunk our piston in, slide it. Yep, yep. 
this one down just a little bit more. Much better. Then you just, uh, you know, you're going back the opposite way. You took it apart. Put your brake pads back in. Get a couple bolts. Then you'll just tighten these down. And you can torque them if you want. I've done enough of these that I can do it by feel. And then you're, you're done. That's it. You just tighten these two bolts up. We didn't break no brake lines. So it's just simply slapping in the new pads and then mounting the wheel back. And that's all there is to it. And, uh, should uh, take care of that squealing noise that we had and it had a little bit of not a grind but maybe like a catch it was catching a little bit but yeah so here you go anyways we'll uh, set it back down and then we'll go drive around a little bit and test it out and see if you can hear that warp, that rotor's warp I told the guy and he he didn't want to spend the money on it um, the car does have 230,000 miles so I guess he's not too worried about it but so anyways, that was pretty quick. That's a, just a little short video to show you guys how to uh, change the brake pads out on the front of a Dodge Magnum. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of other cars that are pretty similar that are made by Dodge. So kind of give you an idea. If, you know, they're all fairly similar. But hope you guys like that. Um, smash that like button. Subscribe. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you guys think. Thanks, guys.